Alright guys, welcome back to more Let's Play Skyrim. So, uh, we have been building a new house, slowly. Um, we only just started in the last video. We are going to go to Bree's home real quick. Um, to pick up our, um... The other ingots that we have, like we have iron ingots that are sitting at the house. I think we might need some leather. Um, and we're going to like deliver it to this house. And then we'll do something. I just don't really know. Ooh, really? I could increase my smithing by making arrows. Interesting. All right. Um, so we go map. Actually, that, yeah, that's like really nice to have it right there. Okay, so white run, we go here. The Axe of Yasgrimor himself wielded when leading the 500. Interesting. Very interesting. An inventory item with, marked with small arrow is probably more effective than the one that you currently have. Yeah, I've noticed I've noticed that arrow. Okay. And I'm starting to go on site. Are often heard by the giants. Uh... Generally peaceful creatures, unless provoked. Got it. What do you need? I don't need anything from you. I have so many comments that I need to go through. Like you guys have been killing it on my uh, on my videos, and I really appreciate that. Uh, like it is nuts the reception that I've gotten on this. Okay, so I believe... Was it here, or is this just all my... Nope, we have corundum ingots. Good. I'll take the hides. And the pelts. I'll take the hide. The iron ingots. The iron ores. The leather strips. Quicksilver ores. Uh, take the wolf pelts. Is that everything? That does seem to be... Oh, no, no. There were three bear pelts that I just missed. There we go. I'm right behind you. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. So we'll give you these. These. Um, the iron ingots. The iron ores. Or calcum ingots, or calcum ore, quarried stone, and there we go. We should be good to travel. Keep going, then. So if I, because now I'm curious as to like what the planting items is going to do other than like allow us to maybe have unlimited like purple moon flowers or whatever hmm I should get some cloak spells I wonder when we're going to get, like, a Black Marsh native Elder Scrolls. 
Granted, this game came out in like 2010, 2011, something like that. And it's 2022, and we only really have the title of the next Elder Scrolls game. Which is, I think, Valenwood. Or Ellswood. Something like that. Okay, talk to you. I've got your back. I am at your command. I will take these. Take these back and these. Okay. Lead on. Um. Okay, what what do we currently have for the drafting table? I could remove a workbench. I don't want to do that. All right, let's put in the pelts, the ingots, the hides, and the pelts. Throw the less uh, the leather strips in. Quarried stone, quicksilver ore, moonstone. Okay. Um. Let's do a little bit of mining. Pickaxe. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. I wonder if this will be unlimited stone core. I mean, it's definitely adding quite a bit. Uh, wasn't there a ore deposit somewhere? I know it's on the wall somewhere, but... It didn't disappear, did it? Stone quarry is fine. Oh, is it up here? Okay, it's not that. It's not that. Aha, iron ore, iron uh, ore bag. <laughs> Okay, the vein is completed, which I assume is this one. Okay, so let's uh, do this one. That one's depleted. What else do we got? Do we have another vein somewhere over here? Does not look like it. At least not that I'm seeing, but I could just be stupid and wrong. Alright. So that's the workbench. Um, that's the anvil. Okay, what do I need? So I need iron fittings, sawn log, locks, two hinges... I also need these, so I th need three sawn logs, which I will need to go do a, um, yeah, so we need iron ingots for that, um, so I think we will need to go to a mill then for that, um, why am I carrying around the dog collars? Iron ore, quarried stones, a 
We'll put the nails away as well. Alright, so this is the animal farm thing. Nice, I will take the two blood two butterfly wings. Okay. So because we need sawn logs mm, that we need sawn logs. Uh we would have to go to a mill for that. Um I think. Yeah, let's put in the other ingredients that I've picked up so far. I am carrying, like, a lot of potions. Put ten of those away. I kind of want to keep the minor healing. Let's put seven of those away. This will help us. Let's put the skooma away. Because I'm probably not going to use that for you, for now. Uh, put the mage robes away. The clothes. The copper. The jade. Uh, and then the necklaces. I don't need the amulet of Julius. What do you have for a weapon right now? Still here. How can I serve you, my thing? You have just a steel battle axe, huh? You have a great sword of sparks as well. But what if I gave you... The Warhammer of Scorching. Or an Elven Greatsword. So what? Do, which one did you choose? Oh, I want to see your back. You chose the Elven Greatsword. Okay. I'm right behind you. I am at your command. Okay, so I will take this. Take this. Take this. Can I give you a ring that would be better for you? I probably could. That's increasing your stamina, which I don't know if that's actually doing anything. Let's give you... Let's give her the minor striking. Let's get going, then. And I'll put these weapons away. Burns the target for 10. The Warhammer does 15. But the Honed Ancient Nord Greatsword does more damage. So... Ancient Nord Bow. Dwarven Bow. Get rid of the Ancient Nord Bow. And we don't need to carry a ring around. And just as one last quick check. Yeah, we only really had like a stamina increase of 10, but whatever. That won't matter. Okay. So we, we would need to go to a lawn. We're not going to do that. Or... God damn, I keep mixing up my words. We would need to go to a mill in order to get the sawn logs is my guess. But I'm not going to do that. Um not yet. We're going to we're going to look at our quest list and we're going to choose one and we're going to work on that.
Okay. So, speak with the leader of Dawn Guard. Find the, our wedding ring in Witch Mist Grove. So, our current one that we're searching for is Assist the People of Falk Wreath. Okay. We should probably, like, continue the main quest a little bit. We could get the beacon out of the house, actually. Yeah, let's let's start getting rid of the beacon that's in our thing. Bring Muridia's beacon to Mount Kilkreath. That is up here. And I mean, we were already at Dragon Bridge Overlook, so we'll just fast travel there. Bella is the goddess of beauty. Temple in Markov. <laughs> well, uh, we can't. Well, no, we paid off our bounty. So we can at least walk around and stuff there. All right, so we go that way. Oh, almost ran right into some spikes. Oh, it's a Forsworn. I've already looked at all that. All right, come here, you. Oh. <laughs> I just mined her brain. Ooh, venison. Okay, well... Ooh, I kind of want to get to that. So let's go this way. I mean, I'm not falling down the mountain, so I think that's a legitimate path to take. There we go. Bear claw. Yeah, Lydia's just running down the mountain. Oh, that was a bit of a cliff, but that's fine. Okay. Yeah, what's this city? Ooh. Nice dragon skull. That's really cool. Alright, what have I found? I have found Dragon Bridge. Cool. Hello, goat. <laughs> That's a symbol I haven't seen before. The Dragon Bridge Lumber Camp. What time is it? Um, We will wait the 12 hours. Lydia is still not with me, but that's fine. Really? By the gods. What? Everyone, inside, now. Where? There he is. Hi, buddy. Do I not have my bow? Oh, no, I do. Hi, dragon. Uh, 
Ow. Come here. Missed it. All right, come here. Ow. No, sorry. I was attacking the dragon. No. There. Okay, so what just happened? <laughs> I accidentally hit the guy. Like, I paid the 40 bucks. Because we have 40 bucks. I didn't have any stolen items. Why am I in solitude? What? No. Bring me back here. <sighs> why did why did it teleport me all the way to solitude? Like, come on. Like, we were fighting a dragon. I'm sorry that my sword hit you. Like, it's a dragon. I swung a little wide. I'm sorry. Hey, Lydia's with us. Where is the dragon? Dragon soul absorbed. There he is. Oh yeah, we're taking all of it. All of it. Give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that. Nice. Okay. Hello. Who are you? Make yourself useful and chop up some firewood. There's a few coins in it for you. Damn right it has. The man's never been so high. At least not since I built the new mill. Hard to say. It's ancient. That much we know for sure. It was here long before the town itself. I just hope the bridge survives the war. It's the only place you can cross the Karth River for a long way in either direction. Could be if one side wants to keep the other from coming across, they might try to knock it down. Her name's Olda. If you've met her, then you probably already know what I'm talking about. I swear that woman is the most spiteful shrew in all of Skyrim. I think there's a chunk of ice where her heart ought to be. All right, then. I don't have my woodcutter's axe on me. In all my years, Alright, so if I do this... And then I do this. Then we just wait. Also, is there any Nurn root here? Nope. Nice.
Can't load another log right now. Okay. Make yourself useful and chop up some firewood. Keep logging, Stranger. Make yourself useful and chop up some firewood. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something. In the old fort near Rifton. You might consider joining up with them. Are you a soldier? One day, I'm going to be a soldier. Seen some mean spirited folk pass through lately. Thought I was rid of those sorts when I left Markarth. Both the Imperials and Stormcloaks have sent riders this way, scouting the bridge and the lands nearby. They stayed at the inn but didn't pay. They said soldiers don't need to pay because they're risking their lives to protect us. And that's not all. They took a heap of our lumber and one tried to have his way with my daughter. They think they can do whatever they want. I grew up an orphan on the streets of Markarth. I'd have died there too, but for the kindness of an old warrior named Logrof the Bent. Logrof rescued me and gave me enough money to get out of the city. I followed the Karth River north and came here. When I met Michelle, I knew this is where I belonged. I suppose that's it, really. Of course. Every night I pray that we don't get a visit from a dragon or that two armies don't show up to fight over the bridge. You ask if I'm worried. I'm terrified, if you want the truth of it. But I have to stay strong for my wife and children. I was hoping with, like, the mean folks thing, he would end up, like, giving me a, here's their location. Uh, go beat them up. <laughs> Alright, what's this place? The Outpost. Whatever that is. But I will take a third dragon kill. Like, that was relatively easy. You must be lost. The tavern is down the road a piece. I'm fairly certain you wandered into the wrong building, friend. Hmm. Interesting. He does not seem like a good person. Oh, we can uh, go into the sawmill one. See what we can get. Uh, see if maybe we can just buy some logs. Or not. Okay. Alright, what do we got here? Somebody's house that I went the complete wrong way to get into. There we go. Jesus. Be careful. Four shields. I'm going to guess it's an armor store. Oh, no. It's a tavern. Hmm. If you're looking for a room, you want the four shields. Seen some mean-spirited folk pass through lately. Thought I was rid of those sorts when I left far. Okay. It just... It just seemed a place to fight a dragon, is my guess. There might be some quests there, but I'm not going to really over uh, extend myself. I want to get to this place. There's a cave coming up as well. Interesting. Um, This seems relatively close. Is it that right there? It might be. You bandits tearing everything apart and not do something. Uh, most of my family disagrees with my choice. Mm. All right, let's go up here. Yeah, I'm gonna guess it's the glowing light that we need to get to. Come along, no more stops. We need to find our way to solid. Never should have come here. Why are we oh. even going to a wedding at this far flung end of the empire anyway? Oh, it's a troll. Remember? These gifts will put us in her good graces. I will take that. Yes. Get up. Speak to my husband if you must. 
Don't bother me, peasant. I've had a long journey and paid too much coin on these gifts to be late to Vittoria's wedding. Indeed, if we ever get there. Okay, so there's a wedding in solitude. Good to know. We're going to crash it and we're going to marry somebody. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Oh, wow, there's uh, actually quite a few things Look here. Look at my temple lying in ruins. So much for the constancy of mortals, their crafts and their hearts. If they love me not, how can my love reach them? Statue of Meridia. Hi, rabbit. Restore to me my beacon, that I might guide you toward your destiny. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um... Sir Malkaren defiles my shrine with vile corruptions, trapping lost souls left in the wake of this war to do his bidding. Worse still, he uses the power stored within my own token to fuel his foul deeds. I have brought you here, mortal, to be my champion. You will enter my temple, retrieve my artifact, and destroy the defiler. Mortals call it Dawnbreaker, for it was forged in a holy light that breaks upon my foes, burning away corruption and false life. You will enter my shrine. Destroy Malkarin and retrieve this mighty blade. Okay. Of course you will. I have commanded it. Can, can I get Go put ahead. down, please? The artifact must be reclaimed and Malkarin destroyed. Can you put me down, please? Malkarin has forced the door shut, but this is my temple and it responds to my well, I can kind of move it's weird I will send down a ray of light guide this light through my temple and its doors will open okay but can I get put down please please don't kill me please don't kill me all right <laughs> Light through, uh, guide the light through the temple. I also need to find the temple entrance. Oh, it's down here. Alright. Because this seems to be a necromancer. Is that one of the old ruins? Lydia, I'm, I'm sorry, but you're gonna wait here. As you wish, my thing. I don't want you getting necromanced. Kill Kareth Temple. All right. We have a level up stored so that we can heal when in dire straits. We will save as... Oh, it's auto-saving. That's good. Desecrated corpse. 25 bucks. Hey. Imperial helmet. Another desecrated corpse. 60 bucks. Wow. Oh, for a second, I thought there was something in there. 
Okay, we got a couple burial urns. 60 bucks. 7 bucks. Nice. Okay, is there a pull string? There's not. That's a bench, linen wrap, broken table, somebody's spine. Can I just open this? Okay. Uh, nope. 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 This is an adept one. How is this being somewhat difficult right now to even find a slightly good place? There we go. Oh, and we got it right away. Nice. Okay, activate the lever. And that opens this. Which gets us at least... Ooh. Honed Agent Nord Sword. 11 bucks, leather bracers, eh. Okay, we have two paths, probably leading to the same area. Check in every place to see what we can do. Okay, so if I activate the pedestal. Yep. Alright, so that opens the door. Nice. Man, these corpses have so much money at least. Like, I think we've gained like 300 bucks since entering the temple, which is nuts. That mu that music sting just ended up really creeping me out. Hi. Corrupted Shades. Oh. Uh, items. Potions. Let's just get some... Um, healing potions. Okay. Ghostly remains. So an imperial sword. Steel dagger. Steel warhammer. Uh, get the healing. Okay. And back to the greatsword. Activate the light. Where does that go? That goes up there. Doesn't get rid of the shadowy stuff. Hi, mister. Yep. Okay. Ghostly remains. I'm kind of hoping for ectoplasm, but... It's gonna be a bit of a puzzle, isn't it? Ruined books. Okay. Hmm. I don't know which way I'm supposed to go.
I mean, we're not guiding the light through this section, so I don't think this is right. But, because it's not right, it became right. Uh, plentiful healing, I'll take that. Take the minor stamina. Wait, what's that? Oh, that's an embalming tool. Okay. Hi. Man, our two-handed is almost 50? Dang. I'll take bone meal. Okay. Desecrated corpse. Walking through, like, this black mist has to be doing something to us. Yeah, there you are. Hi. Oh, no. Okay, so I'm going to need to activate the light there. I have a feeling I missed a g ooh, arcane enchanter. Okay, so open the iron door. It, there's got to be something here in order to open this. I don't see anything there. That beacon might do it, technically. I don't think we have anything to disenchant. This has got to do something. Hmm. Okay, well, let's unlock this, I guess. Oh, come on. There we go. Aha! Pull the lever. That opens this door. Eh. Not the greatest. Okay, that's some linen wrap. That doesn't matter. So I'll activate this pedestal, which will open up that door. Yep. But... We missed, like, an entire room. Like, something to do over here. So we're gonna go back. Yeah, it'd be in, not there, but... What did I just see? Oh, closed wooden door. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look at, like, look at this stuff that we would have missed. Old goblet worth four. That's not bad. Candlestick worth 25. Hot damn. I don't want that. What was that? Oh, a pot. Not worth it. Oh, we couldn't go this Oh! Ow. So we can't go this way, actually. Oh, I can make that jump.
Nice. Oh, but there's no actual way through it. Okay. Okay, so when we look at it like this... That's just showing the area that we can't get to and how it got there. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. I was hoping to be able to explore that area, but I guess not. Alright. Got a couple of burial urns. We're gaining a decent amount of money, so I'll take it. The Kilcreath Balcony. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, you know, they want to make sure that nobody's, like, destroying the forests and stuff like that. Nocturnal is the Daedric Mistrix. <laughs> okay, keep going. Big chest, that's good sign. Expert level. Okay, we can do this. Almost did. Got it. Healing Dwarven War Axe of Fear and a Circlet of Minor Illusion. Nice. Alright, Kilcreath Ruins. get into the boss fight? No. Oh, it was empty. All the ruined books. Jesus! You can't... Like, I saw you originally, but wow, you just kind of came. Okay, you have a Warhammer. You could do some damage, but there we go. Just the sword. Just the Warhammer. Oh. Don't put the sword away. We need you. I'll take the bone meal. There's something on the plate, though, that I want. Take the gold. Golden Emerald Ring. Nice. Enemy somewhere. Oh, enemy above us. Okay. Not overly concerned. Alright. Up we go. Resist magic, extreme magic. That requires a key. Well, 
That does that. And that is now opened. Okay, good. Come here, you. Take the bone meal, and I need to re-enchant this weapon. Um... Oh, here we go. Weapons. Charge it with... We'll use the lesser. There we go. Our enchanting has gone up to 24. Burial urn is empty. Burial urn is empty. Twenty-four bucks. Knew it. Nice. Iron boots. True shot. Minor healing. I saw the holes on the floor, and so I saw the string, and so it's like, yeah, I'll just open it from a uh, angle. Petty Soul Gem, Potion of Healing is nice. Scaled Boots. Ooh, I kind of like those. They only weigh two? Yeah, I'll take it. But bad books. Oh, the strong box is empty. Shame. Okay. <laughs> Activate the lever. Nice little fireplace there. I'm going to need to jump to that, aren't I? Yeah, let's get rid of you first. go. Battle of Red Mountain. Increase our block. Iron gauntlets, iron helmet. Vigorous healing, stamina, nice. All right, um, take those. So I do need to jump to that, and that'll open this door. Okay. If that hits that, that opens that. That is perfect. Put you out of your misery, good sir. Okay, I see. Oh, you're gonna shoot at me? All right. Bone meal. I'll take that. So where's our light going now? Oh, just... What did that just do? Well, that did something that didn't ultimately matter, so... Okay. <laughs> Uh, 
Nope, that was a tree. Oh, another body. Yeah, hot dang. We are getting so much money. No, just... Thank you. Alright, let's go up here. Or actually another body? Dang. 40 bucks. Oh, they wouldn't put that body there for no reason. Yeah, that was a good amount of money. That was 75 bucks. Okay. All right, there are no no shades at the moment, so Man, all of this extra like healing items. Activate and that gets that one there. Alright, we can drop to this, and then we can drop to here. And this takes us to the catacombs. Alright, this has got it this has to be like the last area because it wouldn't make sense for them to go deeper than the catacombs. This one guy had seventy eight bucks. Nope. Where's that one gold? Give me that. Thank you. Um, yeah, before we do anything else, plentiful magic, the urn is probably only going to have money, but that's fine. Take my three lockpicks. Is that a weapon? No, that's an embalming tool. Plentiful stamina. Another desecrated corpse. Activate the light. Is there something hidden back here? Nope. Nope. All right, what do we got? <laughs> oh. So many shades. Uh all right, let's let's do the level up and increase our Stamina. Oh, I'm going to level up twice, aren't I? We'll increase our health. Oh, never mind. I'm going to level up three times. Magic. Oh, okay. Now we'll use some healing items. That looked like frost to me. I'm also going to give myself a resist magic. Do 
Do I have a, like, weaker version of fire type thing? If not, I will just give this, like, a poison or something. Weakness to fire. There we go. Oh. You slowed me down. Oh. That was a kill. He, like, rapid shot. Okay. The Charis. Giant insect that spits poison and bites with its razor-sharp mandibles. Okay. Okay. Honestly, like, us getting respawned here is not the worst thing in the world. Wait, where, where are the people that I need to, uh, loot? And the potions I need to loot? Yep. Yep. Plentiful magic. Yep. Activate it. Okay, I'm curious. Let's go with the bow. Nice. All right. This could be a problem. Um, great sword. Ow. All right, let's use our potions first. Um, fortify health. And a healing. And we'll do just another healing. Ow. All right, there we go. Potion. Heal ourselves up. Weak, uh, weakness to fire. Lesser soul gem. Okay. Actually, let's get our healing out. This will work. This will work. Okay. Hi. Ow. I'll just heal that away. Um, get out the greatsword. Items. Weapon. No. Potions. This, as well as heal myself up again. Okay, we will do that's a drain magic by 16. There we go, magic uh, po uh, poison. I also need to heal myself again. Jesus. Wow, he did a lot of damage to me. Uh, what other poisons do we got here that could work? Uh, 
Um, oh, I should use the resist frost, but I'm gonna also just grab that. So where's my resist frost? There we go. Haha! -ha. Necromancer robes. Whoa! That's different. Okay, he has a shade. We are almost dead. So you know what? Let's uh, level up. <laughs> Health. Stamina. And magic. There we go. Wait, where is he? There he is. Uh, potions. We need more healing. Um, stamina is increased. And we will do this one. Just want to make sure that I'm not going to die, so we're going to constantly heal with our... Um, plentiful healing potion. Oh, there we go. Nice. It is done. The defiler is defeated. Take Dawnbreaker from its pedestal. Wow, there are so many corpses here. This is a lot of money we're getting, too, like. Okay, those are linen wraps, goblet, blah, blah, blah. I was not expecting him to turn into his own shade. I mean, I should have expected it with all the shades we were fighting. I was just not expect expecting a two-part boss fight. <laughs> All right, burial urn. Burial urn and something of healing, which is good. All right, we'll start over on the right. Yeah, like each of these are carrying like 40 bucks. It makes it really easy to get a crap ton of money here. giant chest there. Yeah, I think, um... Ow! Yeah, I guess, um... Uh, activate the pedestal. We have Dawnbreaker. I hope Dawnbreaker is like a stupidly good weapon. I'm up in the air again. <laughs> Malkarin is vanquished. Skyrim's dead shall remain at rest. This is as it should be. This is because of you. You're welcome. A new day is dawning, and you shall be its herald. Take the mighty Dawnbreaker, and with it purge corruption from the dark corners of the world. Wield it in my name, that my influence may grow. It matters not. 
The plant cares nothing for the rays that bring it the warmth of the sun. As you carry Dawnbreaker, so will my light touch the world. The Break of Dawn. Nice. And perfect, we are right back outside. So if I touch this. I want to activate. Okay. So, what does that give us? Dawnbreaker. Burns for 10 points and when killing undead, a chance to cause a fire explosion that turns and destroys nearby undead. Honestly? It doesn't seem that bad. It is weaker. Is this a one-handed, though? Is the question. Or is it two-handed? It's one-handed. Okay. That's not bad. I will... I will probably use this, actually. Um, Lydia! I found a sword! We heading out? As you will, my Thane. All right. Protect you with my life. Well, we that's a big ass moon. Uh we just broke dawn even though it's night. So I don't know how that was possible. But uh we now have a new sword. We've completed one of our quests. We discovered this whole thing here. Uh we have like a mine, a pedestal, a house, a mill and a bear thing around us that we could do. Uh and we'll probably do that in the next video. So Thank you very much for watching, guys. I appreciate it, and I will see you next time.